You can't learn swimming by watching Michael Phelps videos. You can't expect six packs by doing bicep curls. And these are the same common mistake we perform while learning data structures and algorithm as well. I wasted six months of thinking that I was doing DSA, but in reality, I was simply wasting my time harder than the fresher who updates his resume every day. Don't be like me. So let's exercise our brain to avoid these five unique deadly mistakes while learning the data structures and algorithm. Mistake one: You can't learn swimming. By watching Michael Phelps videos. Most often, what happens is when a student takes a problem, he thinks on that problem for five or ten minutes. And after thinking for five to ten minutes, if he is unable to come up with an algorithm, he directly jump onto the solution and watch the solution and try to submit the problem. And once he saw the solution, he feels like that was a pretty much easy problem. But the reality check is watching the solution is not a learning, right? And that's why I say that you can't learn swimming just by watching Michael Phelps. videos so what you need to do is take a problem and think on that problem for 30 to 40 minutes take a pen and paper write down all your thought processes whatever the algorithms that are coming in your mind on the paper point number 2 if you are unable to come up with the solution for 30 minutes then go and watch the solution and finally once you watch the solution and submit the problem come to that problem again after 2 to 3 days and try to solve that problem without watching the solution so do remember that you can't learn swimming by watching michael phelps videos mistake number 2 doing bicep curls will not give you the six pack there are so many students what they basically do is they go to the lead code and picks up random 300 to 500 problems and once they solve 300 to 500 problems they feel like oh i have become really good in data structures but hold on guys data structure is not about how many problems you solve data structure is all about how many patterns you have covered how quickly you are able to relate that problem to the particular pattern let me tell you that what is the best way to practice the questions on lead code what you need to do is let's suppose if you are a beginner always try to solve the problems by top topic wise so what you need to do is pick up a topic which you are learning currently understand its theory first and now pick up the 30 problems based on that particular topic out of 30 problems make sure that five are easy 15 are medium five are hard if you follow this you will gradually cover all the patterns present in the data structures mistake number 3 i care about ac but interviewer cares about tc how often this happen is we simply get a problem and come up with the decent algorithm and we submit the problem and luckily the problem get accepted and this is one of the best feeling for every programmer and normally what happens you know once our code get accepted we simply move on to the next problem the biggest problem with this habit is we are ignoring so many things for example we are not at all analyzing what will be the time complexity and space complexity for this algorithm for your kind of information interviewer is lot more interested to know what will be the total time complexity and space complexity for this problem because getting the time complexity and space complexity is the only one way which can tell us whether you need to optimize your code or you need to keep it the same what is the best habit i can tell you while submitting the problem is that when you are trying to submit the problem and even if it is get accepted first wait for some time and analyze what will be the space complexity and total time complexity for your algorithm now pick up the pen and paper and take some few test cases and check how your actual algorithm is working behind the scene and finally if your code get accepted go and watch the solution of other people too because this will give you so many better ideas that how you can minimize your code lines is there any other better way you can write this code or better approach that you can utilize to solve this problem mistake number 4 no mock interviews in real interviews your hands sweat your brain lags and vs code isn't there to auto complete this is what exactly happens when you sit for actual interview without practice or mock interviews the hard truth is you are not the interview ready until you are mock tested so what i suggest you is use a platform like pramp or interviewing.io to give the mock interviews with the other people you can also have the mock interviews with your friends as well and finally which is the most important thing is focus on explaining your thought process rather than running behind getting your code accepted mistake five no revision strategies i solved 150 lead code problems i solved 300 lead code problems ask me to solve any problem after 2 weeks 
and my brain get factory reset this is the most common condition of so many students for doing lead code problems you know what dsa is not about remembering the patterns or memorizing the problems it's all about understanding the patterns and doing mastery on those pattern let me tell you one of the most important thing about revising the data structures in order to revise data structure the best strategy you can follow is we know that there are 14 to 15 patterns which are really important from interview point of view so pick up the three problems each on each of the patterns and try to solve it on daily basis doing as much problem as we can is the only one way which can help us to be in touch with data success and algorithm so i wasted six months now you don't have to avoid these mistakes and you will be ahead of 90 percent of the college coders smash that like button and put in the comment section no more wasted months do join the code greedy for more such informative videos Thank you.